everyone oh welcome back so today is saturday we woke up a little while ago had our breakfast and i'm just getting ready for the day but you guys i got sick a little bit my throat is hurting me and my voice i don't know if you guys could tell but it's like off this is like the worst time for me to be sick right now because as you guys know i'm 37 weeks pregnant i could go into labor any day i can have this baby any day and i just cannot be sick right now my husband it was sick first and then he got me sick and i'm just hoping and praying that vincent will not get sick woke up this morning thinking like could this be the baby day i feel like from now on every day when i wake up i'm gonna think is this the baby day i have so much things to get done today um my husband and vincent are downstairs right now they're putting the car seat in the car so i'll show you guys that once they're done but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, put on some makeup. Oh my goodness, it's getting all like real now. Our car is getting way too small for our family. But there's Vincent. So Vincent was sitting here before, but we moved him over behind the driver's seat. And then the baby is gonna be behind the passenger seat. And there's like no room. If we had a third baby, there would be like no room. <laughs> Yeah, we need to get a bigger car, which we're working on, but the car seat is installed. There's going to be a little baby in here. We probably have to get um the newborn inserts in here, too. Testing out the car right now to see if we can all fit, and I think we're good. Vincent, are you comfy in there? All right, so are you guys good with this car till the next baby? <laughs> yeah, we have a third baby. There's no way we could put another car seat in the middle. But Vincent is good so over there. So if I there. had to, this is good for him? Yeah. You still can move back. I think we got this figured out. I think we could keep this car cool. for a little bit longer. Yeah. So we got both of the car seats installed back in the car. And I'm so happy that both of them fit in there. I was a little bit worried that it will be a little bit squished and tight. Because we do have a little car. But they both fit. We still have plenty of room. Pretty happy about that. So that's one more thing checked off the list and I'm gonna go ahead get ready for the day put on some makeup and maybe get dressed a little bit because I'm still wearing my robe dressing up these days is like not even a thing anymore for me because all I wear is like my robes and my big t-shirts but today I'm gonna try to maybe like wear a dress or something we'll see I'm gonna go ahead get dressed and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit Alright guys, so it's a little bit later in the day. We just had our dinner. Came up here to get a couple things done for the baby. Vincent woke up today from his nap and he said his throat was hurting him. So I'm pretty sure he got whatever I have and whatever my husband had. Um, which sucks. I hope it goes away before the new baby gets here because you guys, we're gonna be sick around the new baby so i'm just praying and hoping everybody just gets over this sickness i came to the nursery room because i needed to grab all the baby bottles and pacifiers because i need to sterilize them and get them clean for the new baby i have a couple um pacifiers i have like these rubber ones and i also have these new ones um that i'm planning to use with this baby also, I have this one. I'm not sure how I'm going to sterilize this because obviously I can't put the whole thing in. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get this one sterile. I also have glass bottles, which I use with Vincent. I also have this Komotomo silicone bottle, which I'm not exactly 100% sure if you can boil this Um bottle i mean i'm pretty sure you can't but i just don't want to ruin it i also have some breast pump um parts that i need to sterilize a whole box of new glass bottles that i got for vincent never had a chance to use them with him so hopefully um i'll use them with the new baby so i'm gonna go ahead and sterilize everything i watched a couple youtube video tutorials on how to sterilize these things so kind of have an idea but We'll see. First thing that I need is some pot and I just found a big, the biggest pot that I own and I filled it up with some water about like halfway so hopefully it's not going to be 
too much and I'm gonna let it start boiling and I'm gonna put the pacifiers in first because I think they said you have to sterilize them only for like two minutes so they're gonna go in first and I'm gonna take them out first and then I'm gonna add um, the rest of the stuff so let me go ahead put this on the stove water is almost at the boiling point and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding everything in pacifiers first and I think I'm gonna boil them for only like two minutes I mean I don't think you have to do it for longer than that but could be wrong never done this before so I have no idea if I'm doing this right let's put everything inside the pod not everything fits so I might have to do this twice but I'm just gonna go ahead and let this boil for I don't know maybe 10 minutes or even less so I'm just gonna set the timer so I don't lose track Everything just finished sterilizing I think I sterilized it for about like eight minutes I didn't do the full 10 minutes and I just placed everything on this green grass for everything to dry and once it's dry I'm gonna go ahead and store everything but nothing got ruined which I'm so happy I was kind of worried that these comatoma bottles would get I don't know like melt or something but they're fine yeah Okay, now we're gonna do some bubbles with Vincent. We're gonna blow them together. Yeah. Okay, hold the bottom. Okay, you ready for some more? Yes. Wow, look at these. There's so many. <laughs> Good job, you got them all. Want mommy to do more? Okay, ready? <laughs> Be careful. Oh, look, there's one more. Come pop this one. Good job. Oh, there's another one. There is a little one. Yay.